but what that is the one made your flow man your flow is like that is the victim immediately they said hello he said hello hello brother oh please they have tied my hands they have tied my hands the blood my blood is no longer flowing my hands are swollen i can't feel my hands anymore brother please i am gonna die tonight what can you tell the alpha with the money right or else i'm going to die tonight they are going to kill me tonight can you tell me what can you tell me now he said please talk to me my brother what have you come up with uh how much have you come up with the brother said the money we have found i mean the money we've uh, found right is not is not enough and he said how much have you found the brother responded 1.4 million. Then the victim responded, uh, Ha, I'm dying tonight. I'm going to die tonight. Ha, you know, the fear of uh, the reality of uh, Ha, they're going to kill me. That's it. I'm going to die tonight. And that's exactly what they did to him. Continue. Did my friends give you anything? Or did my friends not give you anything? And his brother responded, your friends didn't give us anything. Right? Ah, can you show me what we want to be? Well, I will go to the other one. I will go to the other one. I will go Again, he asked his brother, what did they say when they called? His brother responded, they said it will be until tomorrow before they can get me money. Then, he sighed again, like, ha, ah, tomorrow. Okay. I just leave them with me. I can say numbers are working before I mean, but if I couldn't be, I want me to come to the mile of your flow, man. I just be my similar radio. They don't really know. And they say numbers are working directly, Joe. So again, he pleaded, can you please send me his number? Or can you, can you send me his number and I can send a voice note to him? Eh? I can talk to him from here. They tied my hands. My, the blood is no longer flowing. I can't feel my hands. I'm going to die. They're going to kill me. Which is what they did. Hello? Hello, sir. Sir. Now, this is the terrorist holding him on the phone, speaking to the brother. Sir, good evening. Good evening, sir. How are you? Fine, thank you, sir. I'm going to wait you this night. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Uh, the number, the money is now 1.4. Mm -hmm. Ogbeni, do you hear me? Yes, sir. Ogbeni, I'm not going to sleep here today. I will kill this Baba to go. So, so that is the Fulani terrorist speaking the broken English, the pigeon. He started with Ogbeni Alpha. That is, what's going on? The brother responded, it is the same thing I'm saying to him. We only have about 1.4 million era. Then he replied, he said, ah, then uh, I'm going to kill him this night. That's it. If you are not going to get me what I'm demanding, we will kill him tonight. Listen again. Sorry, please. Why Baba he tell you he tell you to make be with the money? You no know, go be. He said, "Don't have money for Baba. Send her your own money." He said. The brother responded, "Please, sorry, sir." Then the terrorist continued. What is your problem? The Baba said you should bring money. You are not bringing the money. Is it your money? Right? You know all of you who are big men. They don't know. Say some of you are facing economic crunch. Now when they kidnap you, they go no say. You are actually, you are not as rich as, this, as the old people are seeing you. Since you are still able to put fuel in your car. Since you are still able to like uh, drive them all around. And you can still give some people token, 5,000, 1,000, 2,000. Many of you big men, 
you have businesses, you are suffering, you are struggling. They have, they have, you know, the inflation and everything else, they have affected you to the point that uh, you are facing serious economic crunch. Now, one single kidnapping away from you experiencing what this man experienced, money. Continue. I say he has asked me to talk to people and I've talked to them. If they have given me the money, why not go bring them? Okay, you can't waste my time, have you? No, besides, they waste your time, oh. Okay, Please. what do you make I do now? The, what is, the thing where they are at, I'm trying to see if I can get it up to two million tomorrow. Make it, make it come. Two million. We don't... So he said, you are wasting my time. What is all this? Eh? I'm going to kill your brother. Please don't kill him. We are doing our best to make sure that uh, we raise enough uh, and then by tomorrow, tomorrow, how much? Two million. And it was like, two million. Are you mad? You just get 1.4 now. You know, I told you in the afternoon when you called me, say the thing never, it don't go beyond the, Calling. it's less than one, one million. But now, it don't reach 1.4. You under that two million, go go punish you. Ah, sorry, sir. They hear me. Sir, sorry. You and that money, go the punish and your family. Sorry, sir. They talk to me with the term is a two million Abby. Sorry, sir. Your bro your brother, I don't tell me saying go give me fifty million. You go talk about two million. No How many cows do you think Fulani will sell to make two million naira? And how many years do you think they will raise the cow that will fetch them? Two million naira. Eh? Now they are now dealing in human cows. They have now turned Yorubas to their trading cows. One Yoruba man, 60 million. One Yoruba woman, 60 million. One single family of uh, two or three, 100 million. How many cows do you think Fulani will raise? For how many years? Before they will make 100 million naira selling cows. Now you know why they abandoned the cows for kidnappings. Continue. This is a full animal, no? Bororo talking about millions. Like, yeah, in Yoruba land, of course. You go to your dad to million, not on this number tomorrow. Sorry, sir. Uh, what can be meaning for that story? Uh, I just beg you now. Chan, now this is really like they do for you. I said the the man where they there with you. Let me say you get the money for hand. If you say you get where the money they say me, I go just go by there, I go pick up. The bank they take loan, they do the business. So to for me now to get the money, I just they talk to people to help us. Listen, listen, yes, that's really gay people for us our country, then go go school. Who go give them money for that people for Do you know what he, what he is referring to? That is the full animal trying to make the brother know that I know your brother. Okay? Some of us, we grew up in this community as, as, as Bororo boys. We know your brother. We know the rich people in Ogbomosho. We know rich people here. We know rich people in Oyo. We know the family we get money here. We know who we can target. We grew up here. We know you. We know that your brother has family abroad. How is he sending money for their school? How? Eh? Do you think we don't know? We know everything. So if you think this is a joke or something, I will kill him and I'll go and capture another person. That's exactly what he's trying to play off there. Yeah. In case if you don't have an idea what he's playing at, he's referring to his family abroad. What about his family abroad? Can't you call them? Eh? When he's sending his children abroad and all of that, eh? How is he sending money to them? So call them now. That is the Fulani telling the brother. Listen, oh. For the house of country. Those friends with the outside country, I don't talk to them. They say they go call me. I never hear anything. Somebody is asking, how did they know all of this? 
she be na una when una don't make small money. Abi, the next thing, you need a very, very strong Fulani or Ausa boy to come and be your may guard. They are very good. Find me one Musa from Ninja. Find me one uh, Abu Bakar from Borono. And they call. They say, I love this. They, they, don't, they, just, they just mind their business. They, they, they mind their business. I love them. Now, all of you now, come they ask yourself, how did they know all of this information? How did they know us this much? Una, they ask me, don't worry. You will figure it out eventually. Okay. Oh, tomorrow. Huh? Not to call me. I'll call you morning. tomorrow morning. I'll call you tomorrow morning. Let's see what happens between now and tomorrow morning. My blood, no, the flow. My hand don't tie. They don't tie my hand, no blood, no, the flow. Sorry, sorry. I beg. I beg, Yoga. We go give you the money. Wait now. Hey, Jota. You don't know to eat sila. You don't know to eat sila. Ni suru. Ni ni. As the brother telling him, Oga, please loosen the loosen the tight uh, rope. Please, who will pay you? Who will give you the money? Please, he's in pain. Eh? He said he's, you know, please, help us loosen that up a bit. Tomorrow we'll pay. Please. In Yoruba land. Yoruba. All of you will believe, say something like this can never happen in Yoruba land. Ever. It's impossible. They cannot try this nonsense in Yoruba land. Eh? Which world are you living in? That is your brother. That could be you. That person could be me. And how many of your... How many, what did your politicians do? What did your government do? What did many of you do? Absolute nada. Continue. <laughs> Why did your brother tell us that uh, he will give us 50 million and you are coming here now telling us that there is no money? Like, are you, are you crazy or something? Are you mad or something? Do you think I'm joking here or something? I will kill him and I will kill the girl. And if you come here to bring that money, I will kill you too. That's exactly what they did. After collecting 5 million naira, they still killed three people. The, victi the two victims, eh? Rachel, that innocent lady. This man, this innocent man as well. And they could be you. It could be you. It could be your father. Of course, it could be any one of us. That's why I'm using my own time, my own freedom now to speak out. Maybe by speaking out, speaking up, never shutting up or stop it, never stop talking. Maybe I can save your life. Many, many of you, the humble slaves, obedient fools, sophisticated morons, your uncles and aunties abroad, the mumu madus, the bele lecturers, the mumu lecturers, those ones who are going to be harassing you or stopping you anywhere because of Kolu, anywhere you see them. Or Ben, if you see any of them, you know, see how them be Kolu or not. If they approach you, if not just you get split it on them, don't come closer to me, please. I don't. Hey, hey, help, help. You know, split whatever, split whatever you have, slash it on them and scream for help. Like this person came to me, charged at me. No, I just wanted to talk to No, 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 don't talk to me. I don't want to have anything. Get, get the hell out of here. Don't have anything to do with them because they are only trying to they are asking you to join them to validate something like this again eh one moment
So if they approach you or on in, in whatever form, just what run, I will say. So uh, let me bring that back up. We continue our, our listening. So one moment. And meanwhile, where are we? Yeah, we will take uh, a short uh, break. And then uh, you can take a moment as well to, you know, just break away from this whole stress now for now, okay? And when I return, we would continue. Let's do that a moment. <laughs> Okay, so let's continue from that conversation there the brother was still pleading please we are doing our best to get to get the money okay please uh, give us a little time all right we will do our best and bring you the money you know and then he asked uh okay Okay, so what do you want me to do now? Should, should I just kill him now? Or what do you think? The brother. One moment. I will do your panya. Lola, la, Lola, we will not bury Kakua. We will take care of our own. Please. If we go to the city, if we march on Route Twenty, if we party, if we want to go, fifteen years to buy five naira. Walla, the battery to the bar. Said okay, okay. If that is the case, eh, just make sure that eh, when you come here tomorrow, don't come here and talk about 20 million, 30 million. If the 50 million is short of five naira, they will kill him and they won't accept eh, the money. So when he was you know, calling the money, 20 million, 30 million, the brother was like, ha, ha. Like, man, there's no way they are going to, they are going to kill this man. So to you, you might say, eh, maybe the man has the money. Maybe the brother wants to inherit him. I know many, many of you, Nigeria, have messed up with your brains, messed up with your mind, messed up with your line of thought. That is why many, many of you are so incoherent in tackling the obvious uh, threats against your lives, against your existence, against your freedom. Because you are so incoherent. You are so good. At making things up to you, and now it may be the reason now. So, because his brother want to inherit him, it could be, uh, it could be his brother, and it could be this or that. So, maybe that doesn't really validate that a fool and is uh, uh, kidnapping people. Ah, again, I go just say, um, I don't wish you evil, I don't wish this on you. But when it happens, if you become a victim. Now, so I go use your story to teach others like you who love to make things up. And in that case, in the process, the water, the seriousness, the, the you know, the, 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 the seriousness of the problem, they water it down. They play it down so that they can move on. 
until you will become a victim. I don't wish you that, but I will just say, wish I wish you what you wish yourself. Right? It's like, do you want me to just kill him? Because all these things, I don't even know why I'm doing all this talking. Shame me, I just kill him and forget it. Ah, God will not turn you to a killer. Please don't kill him. We'll bring the money tomorrow. Please, please. Eh? God will help you to help us. Please, begging the begging the terrorist. One moment, too. You know what we are going to do? Eh? Let's just kill him, okay? And let's see the people that will now eat the money. That's the word you used. We'll see who will now eat the money. Maybe you don't want to give us the money, Abi. Now, when we kill him, she be then we see any of your family member that will now have the money. So me, I'll go out there and, and kidnap other people. Maybe if we see three million, I'll bring three million to you tomorrow. Eh? Please help us. There is no cash anywhere that will make up uh, that 50 million. We can't even get it. We have done our best. Please, eh? If we see three million, we'll bring that to you tomorrow. Listen to his response. Yes, yeah. to read with me. Yeah, to read with me. The year I'm Omo Yoruba. Eh? Agbo, Ofo ma shemi, Ofo ma shemi, Eme lumi ni oshe. What happened to that Omo Elomi? She that Omo Elomi, eh? Inya unche, inya oleje lorun. And that is why majority of you are today jumping up and down for the same rogues, criminals who brought this upon you. Because to you, at least nobody you they affected now. What is your business? She now you then kidnap me, eh? She now you no get uh, work ni. She now you no get money ni. This or that ni. At least you are still better. You are still managing. Waiting consign you. Now only when uh, and touch you, you go come to scream. Hey, hey, help us, help us. So this country is a very, very bad country. This country is uh, so blah, 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 blah. Because and touch you. Don't be so. Eh? Person where they negotiate for your own brother. Eh? If they tell the kidnappers, you will see others now. Eh? We are many here you can capture. Eh? Collect this one. We will they give you this money. We want to collect them. Eh? God will provide for you. You go capture other people. They go pay you. Some said he's saying that on that direct. I'm just telling you to listen to the context. It, it shall not be well with you. So, ah, sorry, sir. After suggesting to him that he should collect three million. Release his brother and his employee. I mean, uh, his uh, employee, Abi, his uh, worker. Please, we'll give you three million. Release them to us. There are other people you will capture out there. Everybody, they we no get security. Nobody, they watch us. We we'll be animal in this kingdom. Capture us as you want. Eh? People go negotiate. They will pay more. Please release my brother. He responded, said, "It shall never be well with you." I said, "Sorry, sir. It shall never be well with your family." Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. I'm sorry for telling you that uh, business will be better. Just let my own brother go. So that you mad in it. Show you the crazy me. I'm asking you for 50 million. You are telling me 3 million. You know, you demand me. Anyway, it's all right, it's all right, it's okay. He's telling him that, but there is no money. If the money is here, we'll take it out and his life is more important to us. But we just don't have that cash. He said, hey, it's all right, it's all right. It's all right. I'll give your brother the phone. So yeah, tell your brother that when he gets to heaven, he should not hold your hand. That, like you are the one who caused his death, okay? Yeah, tell your brother that when he gets to heaven, call because I'm going to kill him tonight. That's exactly what they did, by the way. I keep repeating it. 
the victim is crying there under a very very severe pain please help me try my brother please help me try even if you wanted to sell anything this is how bad it is oh you may have uh, assets you may not have cash okay nobody they keep cash these days rich people get assets. they say but as nigeria don't tough red there is no one to make any liquid cash available for you to liquidate that your asset and turn it to cash for you overnight just like that except if you are politicians the people that share money every weekend except for you so even if you have all these properties, houses, land, and all of that, which our people are selling, our people are selling their properties to pay ransom to terrorists. Even if you have properties to sell and your life is hanging in the balance and there's nobody to pay cash, you will still get killed, won't you? So he said, tell your brother that my brother, we have done our best if you get to heaven. I beg not to blame me that I'm the one who didn't do enough to free you because these guys are going to kill you. Then the brother said, please, let me try. Eh? And I really wish they can loosen this, uh, they can loosen this tight, uh, tightening rope. I wish they can. I'm so uncomfortable. I feel like I'm going to pass. I'm going to die anyway. Right? And they continue to beg for their life. For his life. <laughs> you could have seen that one. You could have seen that one. You could have seen the brother told him his death is of no use or reward to you take the money we are offering you please don't kill him okay please then the terrorist responded no 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 no, no. you have no idea his death eh means nothing to me for you if I kill him, I will go and capture another person. Okay? That means I will go and capture another Yoruba man. I be you don't hear say Fulani, they kidnap Fulani in Yoruba land. That's him. He was telling him, he said, his death or his life, it does, does, they don't mean anything to me. Okay? If I kill him, I will go out there and kidnap other people. They will pay. Is it not this place? The place we have already conquered and captured? Eh? Listen. They were begging and pleading. Can you please at least loosen that rope? Is uh, the free flow of blood has been altered? It's going to go into spasm and the shock soon anyway. Whether you shoot him or not, he's going to die if you continue to, if you leave him that way. Please, we'll pay you. Now they kick, they, they, they kidnap you and treat you like you are the criminal. You come out from that dungeon and you are shouting one Nigeria. Sheko, shekwe, ayeti, shekwe, fun already. Do you really need any other person to actually see it that way? Eh? I'm going to open the line tonight and I can promise you because I'm going to open the line and listen to people's testimonies in the hands of this terrorist in Yoruba land. People will share their testimonies, their experiences that happened to them or to the people they know. So if you continue to live the lie and think that uh, you have figured it out uh, with this uh, APC and your, and your one Nigeria, you have no idea what is coming for you. The last part.
Baba Okay, hello, thank you very much. Hello, Joe. Uh, see, see, we know. Eh, Niti, Tabala, thank you. Eh, Niti, you saw you from where? You, you saw, you, you saw from where? Lo, na. Muti seta, you fe tale. Ah, rile, ah, re Niti, you saw. Please, please, give us time. We are already looking for someone to buy our property, to buy the landed property, to buy our land. But at least we we'll still have to wait for them to pay us. Before we can bring the money, please, please. Eh? You know what happened? Less than uh, six hours after that call, they finally got the money to five million naira. When they got the money and they took the money to the terrorists, calling them, we are very close. We are on the Okada. We are at that junction. We are entering the bush now. We are number, we are only two people. I am wearing these clothes. I am wearing that. Okada man is wearing this or that. When they got there, they brought out uh, the man. They brought out Rachel. And they said, where is the money? And they handed them five million naira cash. The moment they got the money, they knew is this is nothing. It's like ten percent of what they requested for. Right there, from the report, yeah, one of them cocked his gun and shot the man. Executed him. Turned to Rachel. Executed her. Turned to the man who brought the ransom. Executed him. And then picked up the Okada man, the bike man, shot him in the leg. And then told him to go back home and break the news to the family that they have killed all of them. And I bet you, this was three days ago. There are other people already in their dragnet today. But just yesterday, from Undo State, Amoteko shared this video. An insight. We are still at the headquarters of the Undo State Security Network Agency, codenamed Amoteko. And we told you the call is parading. 151 suspected invaders arrested with dangerous weapons by men of the Undo State Security Network Agency, codenamed Amotep, here in Undo State. Release them, Joe. They are just innocent people. Who are trying to go and uh, you know they are Nigerians. They are just going. You know they are just going. They can live anywhere in Nigeria now. They are transporting people who have no destination, who have no businesses in any part of uh, southern Nigeria. But every day and night, they are transporting them in their thousands, transporting the Okada for them as well. And everywhere they go to, it's just a matter of time before the terrorism will kick in. They said it is their last battle. On those states, it's going to feel it. And today, even though Amoteko no get AK-47, they sometimes still try to show that uh, they are here. And the government, the politicians continue to hold their hands for their masters, the people will give them power and then the wealth that they, uh, you know, they flaunt while their own people that they are stealing all this from 
wallow in abject poverty. And this time around, it's dying in the hands of the invading terrorists. They are there. Maybe one day, they would have the real mandate to keep Yoruba land safe. Eh? Far away from the hands of the Fulani government of Nigeria. So if you ask me, and you say, what is wrong with this Mayegu? He no like Tifnumbu, he no like APC, he no like PDP, he no they support Peter Obi. What else does he want? If you have sense, I don't need all of these people. You don't need any of these criminals to actually do anything that we are, I mean, that they, I mean, sorry, to actually lead a better life, a safe life, progressive life. You know why they are making you think any of these people can be of help to you? It's because of the Fulani, Fulani Republic of Nigeria robbing Peter to pay Paul. I am somebody who believes that if the autonomous uh, Yoruba region actually attain and exercise its full uh, mandate and potential, autonomy, yeah, I don't have to give a damn about uh, who wants to be the, uh, the, the, the president of anywhere. As long as it concerns Yoruba land, as long as they are not going to touch anything from Yoruba land to fund, the bogus one Nigeria, somebody like me will just be so comfortable. And I choose that. And I said that many times. Okay. Fulani Republic of Nigeria made it impossible for Yorubas, Yoruba politicians in your democracy, your democracy where they said government of the people, by the people, for the people. Now, you are supposed to be the one who gave sovereignty, authority, power to your Yoruba speaking uh, politicians, representatives, governors, senators, they were supposed to speak for you as, uh, as Yorubas. Eh? Now you gave them that power. And in their own, uh, in their own uh, crooked uh, wisdom, they figure out that uh, we need protection, we need safety. Nigeria police can no longer keep us safe. Nigeria military is now compromised and then uh, protecting terrorists. When our people rose up in Yewa to, def to defend their lands against their full and terrorists, what happened? Nigeria military mobilized down to the village in Ogun State. They beat up aged men and women for resisting the invasion of their land by full and terrorists. Now, they know that they can't protect us anymore, right? Then your politicians made laws. They said we need to protect ourselves. They started Damotekun. Abuja said, if you want to start anything, eh? Now, street ushers. You, they start to, nothing like Amoteko, we go to carry gun. No. So Nigeria incapacitated our security. Nigeria stopped our safety. Your politicians are spineless, spineless cowards. They continue to shout one Nigeria, one Nigeria. Now that is why you see me today eh, telling you, if you want to give me anything, Mayogun, what do you want? Give us the autonomous uh, Yoruba region who have no business with any part of Nigeria when it comes to our affairs, when it comes to our own, uh, you know, our own progress. Now, it is possible because we have done it before. If you don't rob this one Nigeria on us, eh, we can be so great. We can be safe. Nobody will be di dictating to us that we should go and give Kondo to Amotekun to go and face AK-47 terrorists who have license to kill, immunity from prosecution, in Nigeria and expect us to win. Do you understand that now? Now Nigeria costs them. So if you are for Peter Obi and you are for uh, Atifku or you are for Atifnumbu, uh, we can never have anything in common because we don't. Now one Nigeria, all of you have in common. And it is a democracy, right? Not until that time comes, the nationalist, uh, you know, people, the Yoruba nationalists, when they will fly their flag, the Yoruba nationalists, when they will fly their flag above the Yoruba airspace, when Yoruba will maintain and enjoy that autonomy that allow us and stop any interference from any full and republic of Nigeria, dictating to us how we should protect ourselves, how we should, uh, you know, manage our resources or what of our, which of our resources we should have access to. In this case, none, right? Now that uh, they are mortgaging our resources right before our eyes, your politicians are taking cuts. They are taking their shares, putting them abroad, buying life for their children, buying all of that for their... So when you see Atif Kulu, when you see articulated their morons, 
when you see the obedient, when you see the uh, uh, Lagos above our coups, you all of you may be tearing yourselves apart, okay? But you all have one thing in common. All of you want to save Nigeria. For who? For your oppressors. You have chosen them differently. I chose different. I don't want to be part of that. Do you now see that? Or somehow, somehow in my book, it's still working fine. I can always, since I found out and they figured it out that uh, if you want to trigger the uh, PDP Vuvuzelas, if you want to trigger the Lagos Abobakus, the Aslikas, the All Risers, eh, you can use the obedient eh, to trigger them. You can use the obedient eh, to walk them up. You can use the obedient to keep their blood pressures up. Because since you have, we are telling them peacefully, teaching them what is right, telling you that uh, you cannot lose your identity in this identity, identityless uh, 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 society called Nigeria, a place where they told you they are full learning from Sahel, the jihadists full and terrorists from the Sahel, they are also Nigerians and they have every right to every part of Nigeria, including Yoruba land. The consequences of that is our safety, our lives, our economy, our progress, our women, our children, our communities, our culture, our tradition, including our religion. Things that uh, distinct us, I mean, distinct us uh, from them. All these things have now been uh, dese desecrated. And you still think there's a difference between any of you who want to keep one Nigeria just simply because you are doing so under different disguise. I know be one of you. Look at me very well, okay? But if you are obedient, eh? I like you, okay? Now, now, they give me the vibe I need to further torment your fellows in APC, PDP, okay? But at the end of the day, every one of you, eh, if this is going to be an experience you need, go for it. Because from that experience, you will come back. That things my ego have been saying, has been saying, right? They will come back to make sense to you. Now, from that experience, right, you probably, will, I mean, you will meet your own redemption. The redemption that will tell you it is a futile effort. It is a waste effort. Yeah? As we speak today, me, I don't get uh, any country yet. You can still call me Nigerian because by law, by everything, I am still one. Abi, I can choose to be anything else or tomorrow. But in that, yeah, I am a Yoruba man from a proud ethnic group that is one of the largest the biggest ethnic group in the entire africa right i have that pride nigeria has managed to bury that for so long now me demanding for that uh, right or that identity in a democratic setting right should never by any means eh, turn me into the uh, enemy of those who have become our own enemy indeed so which means whatever you do in nigeria Every of your action, political or otherwise, yeah, we might disagree with every one of them. We might completely be out of it like we are not interested. But does the decision, your action, or the consequences of all your actions, are they limited to all of you alone? They are not limited. That's why I always use my best time to remind you, life, as they say, is a teacher. The more you live, the more you learn. So when I see you, the obedience, Taking on all the establishment uh, uh, sewage rats, the PDP APC, right? It kind of, uh, you know, it sweets my belly. So when I see all of them out there, I use that to torment them so that uh, when everything can come down finally, one thing will happen. Or let me say, two things will happen. If you find your way and you beat this uh, sewage rat on boot slaves, because of your own anger and rage, and you give that power, and the humanity to pull that off. You see? Now, if you say one battle is one, be that. Sure you get. But if you can't put all of that fight, all of that struggle, everything, they can't rig you out, or they can't clamp down on you, like they did answers. With all this, your political in interruption and everything where you won't do, eh? Disruption. Baba, Everything is still working well in my own book, okay? And that is, many of you will come to that reality and say, Ah! Baba, Nigeria cannot be saved. If we want to save Nigeria, it's now better to break it up 
So I may be sounding different to you or somehow now, but guess what? Every one of you, you are playing according to us. I mean, according to what we expect, right? And as it is going on and on and on, when everything finally closed up and then uh, shut down, eh, you know where you're going to come back to? You're going to come back to that same clarity that you called confusion, okay? And that is, you can't save Nigeria. Trying to save her is not because you love Nigeria, okay? Because if you understand what you are doing, you will realize that uh, you are only saving her eh, to, uh, you know, to exist, to continue, to kill you. Depends on how you see that. So to me as a Yoruba man, if you ask me what do I want, I will, ask, I will tell you in a very straight word, leave. That's something that is called democracy, isn't it? The choice. They have told you you have none. Right? But maybe not. I'm going to take a break. I'm going to take a few calls. And you can tell me, from any part of uh, Yoruba land you are calling from, before you become a victim yourself, you probably eh, need to speak up. You see that man they killed and others that they are still going to kill, capture and kill, right? Listen, they would have no chance, no chance of possibly telling others and say, this is real. Old. They are about to kill me. Yoruba people, if you don't want to end up like me, you better wake up. Make a go make tea. You can bring out your phone and then uh, we'll have a conversation in the second part of this chat. Oh, <laughs>